Hello. In this video, I'm going to showcase how to use Office scripts to combine tables that are located in this Excel file into a single merge table. Now, this assumes that the, uh, the tables that we're dealing with all have the same structure. Uh, they may be located anywhere in the spreadsheet, but as long as they have the same structure, which means the same, um, uh, the same columns, then we can combine uh, all of them into a single table. So there's no single API that can help you do this. So it requires a little bit of you know, manipulation of data, uh, collection of data, and then combining them into a single table. Uh, so I'm going to begin by uh, opening the code editor and then uh, a new script. So um, before I start, I'll show the different tables that I have. So uh, as you can see, this table has sort of five uh, columns. Uh, there is none here, um, and this sheet has uh, the same set of columns, uh, but different set of rows and uh, another one here. So uh, knowing that they're all located in different places, so I can just get hold of all the tables in this uh, given file. Now, if you want to exclude some files, uh, or if you happen to have other tables that don't match the same criteria, like number of columns may be different, and if you want to exclude them, that is a little bit more you know, advanced or complex scenario. And I'll show that at the end. But let's tackle the simple scenario, which is um, all similar tables combined into a single table. So I'm going to get a reference to uh, all the tables using workbook get tables API. Right. Uh, so this gives me all the tables. Now, uh, I want to create a new sheet and host all the data in there as in, as in a new table. So first, I'm going to create uh, a new sheet. I'll call it new sheet. Uh, and then on the workbook, there is an add worksheet. Uh, I'll just call it combined. So now that I have the new sheet, um, I can begin to uh, update the range. So range is nothing but sort of collection of cells. Um, I can begin to update the the range with the uh, with the header row, uh, and I can pick up the header row from any of the tables, knowing what they are. I can even hard code it. Uh, but uh, let's be more dynamic. So I'll pick up the header from one of these tables, and I'll update that, and then I'll start picking up each of the data across these tables, uh, and then just simply add rows to that table. Right. All right, so uh, now that I have the sheet, uh, I will create uh, a table. Call it combine table. And new sheet offers add table API. So add table API takes in um, two parameters. One is the, the starting address. Uh, or rather the, the address uh, where you want to create the table and a Boolean property that has uh, that indicates whether the data that you're creating table on top of, uh, whether it has the header or not. Uh, so I'm not ready yet because I don't have the, the new sheet that I've created. I don't have any um, data to begin um, overlaying the table on top of. So I'm going to comment this for now and uh, think about uh, creating, um, you know, when I create a new sheet, uh, my goal is to, let's say, you know, take the header uh, and then um, and then update the new sheet with that, right? Uh, so I'll begin by um, collecting one of the header rows from any of the tables. It really doesn't matter. So I'll call it um, header values. So, that, uh, so I can pick up any of the tables knowing that they're all the same. Uh, and then I'll pick the first one and I'll get the header row range and I'll get its values. Right. Uh, so now that I have the values, I can uh, go to the sheet and then just update the range. Uh, so before I do that, I'll just comment and I'll just simply log. And you should see those five different columns uh, in a two-dimensional array, right? So those are all the table column values I expect. 
So now what I want to do is take this and update on top of, um, let's say, beginning at A1 on a new sheet that I'm going to create. Um, so I'll, for that, I will write, say, a function that takes in uh, two arguments. One is the, uh, the worksheet where I want the data to be updated. And then, um, and then I'll, I'll accept um, the actual values that I want to update. I'll call it data. Um, and then, so this will be uh, a string and it won't return anything except that it'll update it. Call it update range. Um, I'll go back and get the text rather than values, given that some of the columns have dates. And what I want to do is, um, if I know that I'm going to be updating beginning with A1, I need to compute the actual target range. Um, well, if you know that this has five columns, you know I can say A1 through E1, but let's assume you know, the structure of the table could be, you know, dynamic in nature, you know, tomorrow I might want to run against another Excel file that has different number of columns. So I want to make it a little bit more dynamic. So for that, I'll compute um, the target range. So I'll say uh, target range. So I'll get um, the sheets. I'll begin with a starting point, which is A1, so which is the top left corner. Uh, and then I'll get um, resize range, so which means from there, give me another range. And that takes two parameters. One is the number of rows. Now the number of rows is, um, we know it's one. Uh, and then we need the, the number of columns. Um, so maybe I'll just do, instead of hard coding it, do data.length, okay. Um, okay, and then I will take the, the number of columns. So that is data, uh, I'll take the first row and say length. Uh, okay. Uh, now I'm going to subtract one from each given that uh, I'm already, you know, I need the, the relative size. So I'm going to get the, so I'm going to subtract by one. So now I'll just simply display the new range address just to make sure I'm on the right path here right so all this is doing is um, extracting the header row of the first table um, and then it's calling this let me call this function I'll pass in the um, pass in the new sheet and I'll pass in the header values. Right. So that's all I'm going to do. Um, one additional thing I'm going to do is because I'm creating a new uh, worksheet, I will first remove it just so I can rerun this again and again without having to run into duplication issues. So for that, I'll get worksheet with the same name. Uh, I think I called it combined uh, and then delete it if it exists. All right. All right. So if I run this, I should see, well, um, I should see the address of where the, all right. So it's going to uh, compute So it's computing it correctly. So it's just on this worksheet, A1 through E1 is where I want to update. So that looks good. Um, and then instead of displaying, I'm going to just use that range to uh, set values. And I will give it the data. Right. So now if we run, uh, not only it should create a combined worksheet, but it should also update that with 
the actual um, column values. So that looks good. Uh, so that's all I need from this function. I think it's doing what it needs to do. Uh, and then I'm going to now um, create this table. Uh, so maybe instead of returning nothing, uh, I will create, I'll return the actual uh, actual range that I've updated this with. So it's returning the target range. So instead of void, I will say that this is returning range, All right? So I'm going to get so I'll pass in the values. Um, as the target range address and then I'll say hey this has the header so um, now it should do all the things that it did before but it should also create a table on top okay so switch over okay so that that seems to be working um, all right so now that that is done my next task is to go through each of the tables collect collect its um, data, and then just simply add rows to the newly created table. Now I already have the table collection. Uh, so what I'm gonna simply do is um, go over each of these tables. And for each of the table, I'm gonna just get its um, data values and that we can get that by getting a range between header and total because we don't want the header uh, if there's any total row we don't want that either uh, and then from there I'm going to get its uh, texts and on the combine table I'm simply going to do uh, add rows now add rows accepts uh, two parameters. One is the the index, uh, so I want it at the end, and then I will say um, you know the values are the data values. Okay, so this before I run, I'm gonna take um, fetching of all the tables, and I'll put that after I remove the target sheet because I don't want this collection to contain the target table. Right? So now it's only going to uh, pick up the input tables. So with this, it should hopefully create a new table with all the rows that I need. So let's confirm. Um, so I have uh, E107 through 114. Um, and then 115 through 119, and then 120 through 128. So I think I should have all of those here. Okay, so that kind of completes the initial goal of uh, combining all the, the table into a single table. Now, um, what if you wanted to, you know, eliminate some table uh, from this list? So, uh, so let's assume that, you know, I have you know, when one of these sheets, I have um, a table. Let's just insert something. Um, and now I don't want to pick up this table. Obviously, this is different from this structure uh, that I created. So um, there are kind of a couple of ways to do this. One is for each of the table, like if you happen to know the table name, um, for, in, for instance, like this table has a name, uh, and if you know the exact tables that you want to copy, uh, if, if I want to collect, um, and one thing you could do is, instead of getting all the tables, you could just get only the tables that you're interested in. 
Um, the other thing you could do is, um, if you know the worksheets where you have your target tables, uh, then you can just say, hey, pick up tables only from these uh, set of sheets and then uh, remove the rest. So maybe that that's probably uh, um, an easier um, easier place to do that. Uh, so let's target that. So let's say I have sheet three. I want to pick up from sheet three uh, and then um, sheet one and then sheet two. So one, two, and three. So I don't want anything else. So what I'm going to do is I'll create um, sheet names from where I want to pick up. So I'll call it sheet one and uh, sheet two, uh, and then sheet three. So it will not pick up the new table that I created here. So it'll only pick up from those three different sheets. Uh, so uh, sheets themselves have a get tables API. So for instance, here there is the workbook get tables, but sheet will also contain um, the workbook uh, you know, get tables. So uh, what I'm gonna do, uh, let me first save this as copy tables as a script. So, so this is sort of, think of this as a simple scenario. I'm gonna create a new script and I'll call it call it copy select tables um, so um, so I'll have to work this logic a little bit which is instead of getting all the tables here I only want to get tables for each of these sheets so this entire logic will need to go underneath another loop I'll call it uh, sheet names let's do a for each uh, call it sheet uh, now instead of workbook I'm gonna create uh, get the collection out of each of the sheets So for each of the sheet names, I'm going to get the actual sheet and then I'll call the get tables on it. Uh, so from um, then on, it should work pretty much the same, except that um, I don't want to create the, uh, the target table uh, more than once, right? So for that purpose, um, I will extract this piece out or maybe do that just once. Um, so let's let's call it, you know, uh, let's target table created. Initially, it is going to be false. Um, so here, say if target table is not created, um, and then I will want to move. The creation logic inside and then I will make this true so which means if there is no target table
so what what this is doing is if there is no um, if there is no um, table if the target table has not been created it'll pick up um, the first table of the target sheet um, and it could be any sheet doesn't matter because they're all the same and then it'll um, you know create you know get the target range it'll call the same update range function you receive the target range and create the the table uh, and then it'll mark the table created as true so that way it won't uh, pick up it won't go into this logic again so it's going to just create the table once um, and then for each of the sheet it's going to get you know all the sheet all the tables well in this case i only happen to have one but if you had multiple tables in the same sheet it'll work the same and then uh, for each of the table it is gonna you know append the values um, uh, in terms of add rows so if i run this i should get the same output um, so let me run this all right so here i don't want to use the i don't want to create a new one I was complaining that um, combined table um, was undefined, which is true because I was assigning it to a new variable. Okay, so if I go back here, now you see that um, it is working correctly. Now, um, to test to see if the other scenario that I talked about where, imagine I had different tables or multiple tables in the same worksheet. So let's just make it E130 just to test. Uh, so in addition to what I see here, I should see the E131 um, All right, so you see that even if a sheet has multiple tables, it'll pick up and update it. Um, so again, so this is a bit more uh, advanced scenario, uh, but you are likely going to end up using the first scenario, which is um, you know the structure of the tables, and that is all the set of tables you have. And um, and then the previous script that I wrote, which is a copy, copy tables, just combines them all into a single table. So hope this was useful. Uh, find the source code for each of the samples in the description link. And if you have any questions or comments, uh, please um, you know leave a comment uh, at the bottom. Thank you.